Christmas. This is Christmas. Okay? It's Christmas. This is the 25th. Christmas always falls on the 25th of December. Always. It's been, it, 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 was, it was doing it before I got here. It'd be doing it once I leave this dunya, once I, once I leave this earth. Okay? And there are many, many people out celebrating. They're celebrating right now. They're having a good time. You know what? And you know what? The reason I'm not going to give the year to this video is this this information is taking place because I want people to be able to go back and look at um look at it. You know, although I'm sure they'd be in the description somewhere. And it's Christmas. And people celebrate Christmas. Christmas. We are in. I am in the United States of America. That's where I am right now. I'm here. I'm here. I'm in. I'm in Chicago, Illinois. And the thing is, I was going. You know what? It was. It used to be a. It used to be a time in my in my life the way I would say things that were disparaging and say things that were, you know, just. It wasn't politically correct, you know. Have no reason to beat up on somebody because they don't celebrate Christmas. I mean, because they celebrate Christmas. Okay. Once upon a time, you know. I celebrated Christmas. You know what? I believed in a tree and I had toys all around for my parents. I had all of it. And we went to church, I think on Christmas or something like that. And we had our family around. But but I'm here to give some information because I don't see many, many shows out there. But because I don't see it doesn't mean it's out there. But I'm talking about to explain why Muslims do not celebrate Christmas. And you know what? I'm waiting on my guests to come in. And you know what? That's the thing is, you know what? I, I you know, when I'm very, you know, I try, I try, I try to be punctual. You know, when I, when I, when I, when I commit to something, and some people aren't, you know, when, and you know what I have learned the way you know what you can't be mad at them because they're not punctual. You cannot. You cannot. And you know what? You have to understand that they are who they are and you are who you are. Well, you know what? I don't have the ability to change anybody. But um I always say to myself. <laughs> If somebody might say, hey, man, you're egotistical. No, nah, I'm not. I mean, all of us have a bit of an ego, okay? All of us are battling against nuffs. Nuffs are our own desires, okay? I always say that when you invite somebody on, you know what? And they just don't come on time. It says something. Because you know what? If Fox Television or CNN News or ABC News or the old Oprah Winfrey show, or Jimmy Kim, 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 Kimbala on Channel 7 ABC invited you on, you would be ahead of time. It was not born on it. And then Another reason is that generally, generally, the celebration of Esau's birthday, of the day that he was conceived by Marianne or Mary in the state. Okay? Now, Say that there were three wise men that came with gifts. Okay, I got that. I got that. 
But in Islam, for those that are practicing Islam, they do we do not celebrate birthdays. We do not celebrate birthdays. Now, but if you see a Muslim that is celebrating birthday, you know what? It's not really to put him down or to put her down. It's that at certain points, you, you have not reached that stage of, stage of development. Okay, you know, and you know what, and you shouldn't try to pretend you're somewhere and you're not. What I mean, the stage of development, because like you plant a seed and it germinates. Germinate means that it grows. Okay, and one thing is, might have just deposited that seed. You might have just deposited that seed, and what happened is, um, it has not germinated. It's not germinated. It's ger it is germinated. You know, when you make a declaration to accept Islam, understanding that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad وسلم, is the last prophet of God. But because you make the declaration, meaning you make it make it clear that you have accepted this. You may start out, you know, with celebrating birthdays, but you know what? But as you develop and increase your knowledge, you know that you don't celebrate birthdays. So, um, the thing is that, so, so therefore, we don't celebrate birthdays because Prophet Muhammad وسلم, did not celebrate birthday. We did not do it. Now, now, you know what? Now, I'm, I'm, I don't know. It may be hypocritical. I think, you know what? There may be some Muslim parents that do have a party for their child. And you know, I'm, about to, I'm here to tell you how to raise your child, how not to raise your child. You raise your child the way you want to raise your child. But I'm talking about once you come to an understanding of the Quran, the Quran is like, is a holy, is a book, okay? It's like the Bible to the Christian. Once you come to an understanding, you know better. You know better than that, okay? So... Don't be overly don't be overly critical to which there's somebody that is on that not on that level. Please can you send me the link? I am putting the link in your messenger. I'm putting the link in your messenger. Just the link in your messenger. Mr. Tyrone, I'm gonna put the mess, I'm gonna put the link in there again. You have to give your microphone the permission, and you have to give your camera the permission to enter that's what you that's what you have to do you know you know this is not it's not rocket science you know hey that that's not that's not to make you better but like i said you can't but i have you can't have technical difficulties anybody can have technical difficulties anybody you know a computer could go out on me right now there might be somebody somewhere in a place of power that may not want this information and explanation explained about Christmas and why Muslims do not celebrate Christmas. You know, because there are powers to be that control the internet. And I don't think they're worried about little foolish things, people sitting up here dancing and having a good time and using an MF here and an F you there. I don't think that they're really worried about that, but I think sometimes it's suspectable that when you are doing things to lift up the conscious level of people, since they have power, they may have the ability they will have the may have the ability to block.
certain broadcasts, you know, and it's okay. Because you know what? Um, say you plan, but a lot of plans, a lot for people that don't know who a lie is that you plan, but a lot they plan, but a lot plans, and a lot is the best plan of all, and it's okay, it's okay. That's, that, that's all I can really say that it is okay. You know, I you know I should have I, I planned this broadcast, but you know what I made I made sure that once I did this, I said that inshallah, you know what because inshallah for people that don't know that means that is the will of Allah. But going back to Christmas, that's one one reason we don't believe that the Messiah. Who's born on that day? We don't believe that. This is not to put down what you believe in. You have a right to believe what you want to believe in. You have that right. Okay. I'm just explaining to you because I'm not trying to be bambastric and be anyone. Up. All I'm doing is explaining the position of an Orthodox Muslim. We don't celebrate. Okay. We, we don't believe in putting trees up. Trees up and putting presents around the trees. Don't believe them. You know, you know, it's it's you know one one thing I would one thing I would like to say is people that are looking at this broadcast, it's I'm not gonna say that it disturbs me, but one thing that I just I don't understand. And they know what perhaps you could put something, you could put something in the chat room, or you could call up and I could, you know what, I can call up the telephone number 1-312-884-9757. And then you might have a question. The th only thing I don't one other thing that I do not understand is there's such a great emphasis on buying people's presents, okay? You buy presents that people are liking, you buy presents that people will, re people will return. You know, you do that. But what I don't understand, I do not understand, I do not understand where if your belief system told you that this is the day that the Messiah uh, Jesus, uh, and you saw peace and blessed be upon him was born. Why do you not concentrate more on the goodness of the Messiah? The goodness of the Messiah. What the Messiah represented. What the Messiah was all about. Now concentrate. And you know what? I just don't you know what? But you, let me say this again. You have a right to do what you want to do. All I'm doing is explaining the Muslims. Um, you know, um, ideas and belief system. Uh, you can use the word dogma. But, so and that's something that I don't understand. For the Christian that is out there, your emphasis, your main emphasis. Cool. You want to give a person. But I hear very few talk about Jesus, to talk about Esau and what he represented, peace and blessed be upon him, and what he was all about. But you got a ton of you got a ton of presents up underneath a Christmas tree. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't but that's your right. That's your right to. That is your right to do what you want to do. That is your right, you know, because um, I guess it's a, there's a separation between between state and government. It's a separation. And I, I was taught that Christmas is Nimrod's birthday. 
Nimrod. Who was Nimrod? Nim Nimrod was a sorceress. He was a sorceress. Okay. He, he had a mother that he may, may have even had a relationship, a bizarre relationship with when it came to doing certain things. I don't want to say what he did, but no, adults know what that is. And what happened is when Nimrod died, when Nimrod died, he's a very evil man. And like I said, he did things to his to his mother in terms of a relationship that you uh, average man wouldn't average man wouldn't even consider doing. And when Nimrod died, he was a sorceress. His mother was a sorceress. His mother picked up a tree and put the tree, a little tree, in some place, and then said, "If you bring presents." And put them around the tree. Nimrod would be pleased with you. Okay. And you know what? That there's that, and you know, and I know, and you know what? I'm gonna say something that I am not a expert. I am not a scholar. I'm I'm none of that. I'm none of that. But that, that's from the little knowledge that I have. So therefore. From a, a Muslim's point of view, and I'm keep on emphasizing you should do what you want to do. You should do what you want to do. Okay? But you know what? That Christmas is a paganistic ritual that has been incorporated into the Judeo-Christian society to make it acceptable to the masses of people. But do what you want to do. All I'm doing is just explaining. I'm not telling you shouldn't do it. I'm, ex I'm just explaining what a Muslim's point of view is. And you know what? Now, there are Muslims that are scholars that will say, man, you know what, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You know what, and they, and you know what, and I'm sure they can get off, they can get off into it much deeper than what I ever got off into, you know, so, um, so, you know, but once upon a time, I acknowledge, you know what, I celebrated Christmas, I celebrated it. And had a good time. What I perceived to be a good time. But my uh, imam, um, I have an imam. Imam is like a preacher uh, in Islam in Chicago. A Masjid al Fatir. He did something on Christmas and he did a, a wonderful kukbah on, you know, starts with more time. In Masjid El Fatir, you know, that's where I go. It's on 47th and Woodlot in Chicago. And I encourage people to go there that live in Chicago. I go to your local mosque, wherever you are. But I would say out of all of the mosques in Chicago, the mosque that is doing the most work in the community, most work in my opinion, and it's going to be thousands that disagree with me, is Masjid El Farouk. At 80, I think I said 92nd or 91st in Stony Island in Chicago. They're doing magnificent work to spread the deen of Islam. Magnificent work. They do. I, I mean, they have houses that people could people stay at. You run into hard times, you can go over there. And, and you know what? They, have, they give out food and... <laughs> They believe in the Sharia. Only thing that upset of Sharia a lot, but the only thing that upsets me is, you know what, that um, when you are confronted by news media asking, do you believe in Sharia law? You turn around and say, you believe in democracy and you believe in the Republican Party. But no reporter smart enough and asked them when they denounced the Sharia. And Sharia law is Islamic law. And um, that's something... That you know what, imams they don't uh, 
Preachers, you would say preachers in the church, but the email, they don't say it out loud. But you know what? But even if they get in front of the news media and say that we believe in a democracy and a Republican Party, you know what? That is not what their rank and file believe. They don't believe that. Okay, I have my guests. Yeah. I'm so sorry, brother, man. I've been trying to do this thing since 12 o'clock. Hey, all you gotta do is just press. The, you know. it, it wouldn't let me join, though. I had to do. Oh. I, that's why I got my sister with there helping me out. All praises, all praises, do that a lot, brother. All praises, man. I'm so sorry, man. Okay, yeah. all, all, all praises, do that a lot, uh -huh. brother. Yes, you know what? I have um, an Islamic brother <laughs> that is working tirelessly to spread the dean. Of Islam, and thank you to the sister. Thank you. Okay. And you know what? Is he is working tasks? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Spread the dean of Islam, and he understands about the sooner the high these He's expert compared to me. No, I ain't gonna say all that now. I say compared to me. I, 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 I'm not gonna say that. My I, knowledge I is that though. Okay. He he believes in he believes in the Sharia law too. I, I assume if it's implemented under the right circumstance. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And you know what? I'm gonna say. You know what, brother? Please. You know what? Humbly, I say, let me keep my mouth shut. And you know what? Tell the people who you are and what you are about. All right. Well, my name like is well, Salam. I um, my name Tyrone Perry. Um. Uh, my Islamic name is uh, Rasul Abdul El Amin. Mm -hmm. I just keep my my uh, birth name out of respect for my parents, though. But uh, mm -hmm. before um, before I got introduced to Islam, I just was a regular guy, you know. I was more in um, sports and hip hop, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and hip hop, some of the hip hop that I used to listen to was kind of had a lot of Islamic literature, you know. It was talking about Islam, but I really it wasn't until this one time, this, this young lady I was dating, her uh, ex-boyfriend of hers was in a car accident, and he was paralyzed. Mm -hmm. And she, you know, she still used to help him out. And, mm -hmm. and, he, and um, he told her, hey, I want to meet your, your, your boyfriend, right? Mm -hmm. And me and said, he, he want to meet you. Mm -hmm. So I came and met him. And one of the first things he asked me, he said, do you believe that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is still alive? And I'm like, who is that? You know, I, 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 I didn't know nothing about Islam or nothing. Yes. So he gave me a holy Quran, which I still have to this day. And this this is like 30, this is over 30 years ago, almost 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. This is like early, early 90s. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. he gave me a holy Quran and he gave me a... Uh, our, our uh, Savior has arrived. That's the book he gave me. Praise be to Allah. So I got them books. I started reading them. I'm like, man, it's pretty interesting right here. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. so like, let, me, let, me see, let me see what this is about, you know? So I started, you know, endeavoring to other things with the nation of Islam. Okay. And I'm like, I like this. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I told my mother, hey, I'm going to stop eating pork. <laughs> my mother was mm -hmm. like, oh, not. my mother was like, Boy, who done brainwash you? Alhamdulillah. <laughs> I was like, I ain't been brainwashed. But and then I was telling I said, Oh man, these white people, they the devils, you know, y'all cool done created these devil race of devils. And it's a mm -hmm. that, you know. So mm -hmm. I start and in, uh indoctrinate myself with the teachings of the nation of Islam. Yeah. You know that's their dog, that's their dogma. They right. believe that for people that do not believe, do not know. That dog, my part of their, their uh, statement is they believe that the white man is the devil, but Islam does not, does not, there's nothing in the Quran. Sooner, a hadistic essentiate uh, says that the white man is the devil. But no. And uh, I was on that for a while, and um, I was in college. Mm -hmm. and, what college? Uh, Trying College, you know what Trying College is? Yeah, yeah. Tell people where it's at. Where is it? Like this River Forest. It's like it's border. It's like border on Maywood. Oh, okay. Illinois. Okay. It's in River Forest, Illinois. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it's a junior college. I went there. 
Praise be God. I had an um, African American history course I was taking. Mm -hmm. We had to do, um, we had to write a report on, you know, a black person and famous person. So I choose Malcolm X. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I'm like, man, Malcolm was pretty deep. So mm -hmm. I bought, the, I went and bought the um, autobiography of Malcolm mm -hmm. X. Mm -hmm. When I read the autobiography of Malcolm X, that started to change me from Nation of Islam uh, theology to traditional Islam theology. But yes. it, took me, it took me a minute for me to break off from that to to embrace the sooner, mm -hmm. you know. But I, then that's when I I was at, at first prior to reading Malcolm X and just having a Nation of Islam thinking that's mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what Islam is all about. I was just getting Nation of Islam books, reading them. Mm -hmm. I wasn't getting no books that was dealing with just you know traditional Islam. I was getting Nation of Islam. Okay. Uh, you got a question, there. excuse me for one question, man. You got one question. Uh, thank you, Minister Ben. He does a show called the uh, In the Mountain. Minister Ben Willis, I love it. Brothers, seeing you, brothers, keep bringing the message of APDT. Um, well, that's from Minister Ben. You got a message? Oh, uh, yeah. Minister Ben, that's my brother. You know, we both belong to the Flame of Crisis Society. We both members, mm -hmm. proud members. Uh, mm -hmm. The Flame and Crescent Society was established by uh, uh, my big brother, Minister Salim, my dude, Khaled, one of one of one of my big mentors, who thorough, who thorough on his day. He he knowledgeable on a lot of things. He's very knowledgeable, mm -hmm. you know. And that's that's mm -hmm. uh that's why I look up to him, uh, Minister Ben. Those two, mm -hmm. those two are my mentors right there. You know, that, that keep me on the right path. And, and you too, you one of them too. All praises do. I'm gonna turn around and say thank you and say all praises do to Allah. Look up. Oh, you know, I'm doing a lot. I'm doing a lot. I'm mm -hmm. doing a lot. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, once I read Malcolm, that's when I start picking up books just on Islam. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Read them. So mm -hmm. then gradually, gradually, I started leading the way, and then after some years, I finally took the Shahada. Mm-hmm. And started. Got on the real thing, you know. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, you, know, you know what's funny? I originated from that house in um, <laughs> Nation of Islam. Well, right. You gonna say that? But go ahead, brother. Yeah, yeah. I, and um, like, and prior to me, and prior to me, um, accepting the traditional Islam, I orthodox. Did, yeah, orthodox. I really don't Islam. like to use that, but um, I just say Islam. You know, I think Nation. Yeah, I don't. I don't just Islam is Islam. It's, other people don't put other kind of nations to it or whatever. Mm -hmm. But um, I used to go to one of one of a guy I grew up with. Mm -hmm. We used to go to Mars Marion all every Sunday. We used to yeah. man, we'd get down there heavy, and um, yeah. we was like they used to all you know. If you ever been to the Mars Marion, you know I think they they try to get you to join the nation. I have yeah, I've been, I've been, I've been there. And like I say, I, I say out of all due respect. All due respect, they're yeah, my brothers and I love them, but there's no need for me to go back to the nation of Islam. And you know what? But I say it with all due respect, you know, all due respect, because you know what? You can hear you can hear something that may alter your thinking by your dean. And I'm not going to beat up on a nation of Islam, but there's no need for me to go there. It's just, it's just not the people that want to go, go. And I'm, I'm going to say this, Minister Farrakhan loves black people, but that's not what I'm talking about. Right. <laughs> yeah. And see, like me, I, I like Islam. That's my personal decision. You know, mm -hmm. I accept like when they talking about the upliftment of black people, Yeah, I'm, I'm rolling with them. Yeah, you know, but when they then when they start bringing up Master Farah Muhammad and stuff like that, that's why you know. And see, that was the thing when they used to try to get us to join, man, my buddy. We we used to all with that man, Master Farah Muhammad. I'm like, man, he, we like that ain't that ain't from from what I'm reading in this Quran. Mm -hmm. His name was never mentioned or nothing like that. So, and that's why I could never join the nation. But I support them. Yeah, I, I, I support the nation. Yeah, and, I support and to me. To, to me, the Nation of Islam got some of the ideas of implemented 
collect, collectively by black people, man, we could go a lot. We could go a lot further mm -hmm. than where we at right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I, like I say, people, people that want to go, fine. I, you know what? Uh, for me, it's because of the theology, yeah. and it does, it does not coincide. Right. It's not in tangent with the Quran, but for people that want to go, go, do what you You know what? Oh, today is Christmas. Uh -huh. And you know what? I don't want to say what year it is because you know what? I want people to be able to look back on this without trivializing and saying what year. Okay? And I want to ask you something. Christmas is on December the 25th. It's always been on December the 25th since I came into existence. And it's going to be on to the day of Yama Kiyama. Right. People that don't know what the day of Yama Kiyama is, that's the day of judgment. Okay? And to you, what did, as a non-Muslim, what did Christmas represent to you? I'm going to lead up to something now. Oh, I mean, as a as a kid, before I took the shahada, became as a kid only like what, what is shahada? Somebody that don't know what shahada is. Oh uh, well, that's the declaration that you make to become Muslim. Even even though we born, I, that's our natural way to be Muslim. That's our, but you make your declaration to Allah that you you bear witness that He's the only one in existence in the creation, and that uh the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was his last message. He was the seal of all the messages that he sent. And it ain't no more coming after him, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know. And he, uh, he, he, he gave me this. This Dean is the perfect way of life. Mm -hmm. But we as humans, we deviate from it and make it seem like it's not. But mm -hmm. it's not. It's not the Dean. It's us that's making it look bad. Yes. But uh, to me, growing up as a kid, just being around my family, because I'm a, I'm the youngest of nine. Oh, I'm the and, and, uh, being around my family and just eating good food that my mother used to cook, and she used to have us cooking too, you know, just just being around the family, it, all that superficial stuff, it never really, I didn't, that really never, I, I never, that was nothing to me. Mm -hmm. A Christmas oh, and stuff like that, I, I never was, that never made me happy or anything, like just, just seeing, because my oldest brother, my oldest brother left home when I was a baby. Mm -hmm. I never really knew him like that, you know, because mm -hmm. he was gone. And when he used mm -hmm. to come back, he used to be man, he used to have good times, you know. Mm -hmm. So it was so you know what? Oh, you was the youngest one. You boy, you didn't have nothing to worry about when you went to school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. But well, you know what? Once you took Shahara. Understanding that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the last prophet of God. Once you took Shahada, how did that change your belief system about Christmas or Xmas? And I want to tell people that are looking at this, we are not to beat you up. We're not trying to beat you up about Christmas. You celebrate what you want to. All we're doing is giving clarity or information about why Muslims do not celebrate Christmas, okay? Yeah. But once you made that transformation, okay, and took Shahada, how did your belief system change in terms of Christmas, and why? Well, the first thing is I told my parents, uh, y'all don't, don't no longer have to buy me no Christmas gifts no more. Oh, my mama, um, I was a grown man. I was okay. a grown man by then. And my mother, okay. you know what my mother told me? Made the What's most out because she was like, boy, you don't tell me what I can do. I can do whatever I want. I'm your mother. I'm like, okay. I, I Smart. couldn't disagree. Smart. You know? Right. You know? And uh, I'm like, help putting up the Christmas tree and decorating the house with lights. I'm like, I'm no longer be a part of that either. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, but another thing about my mother, like, this is what I look See, because my mother had an open mind. Yes. You know? so, like, when I when I told her, you know, I'm like, I don't eat pork no more, no, and I stopped eating. So she started making dishes specifically for me. All praises do to Allah. You know, 
Cause see, like oh. I'm, I'm, I'm being the youngest. She, she kind of my mother baby me, you know. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm All praises due to Allah, brother. You had a understanding mother like that. Yeah. Now, yeah. let me ask you something, brother. You know, you're saying, this, but I, but I really want to know. You know what? There are people out there that do not understand why. Would you not observe this their holy day in the Messiah was born on that day according to them? Can you explain that, brother? Yeah. Well, once I started getting a better understanding, like once I started getting like when I went to college and started learning about other things, religions and like societies and stuff like that, I'm like. Well, all this stuff is is rooted in paganism and commercialism and money, you know. So, like, I, like, come to find out, Jesus really wasn't even born on December twenty fifth. Mm -hmm. And um, it says in the in the Bible that you shouldn't put up a Christmas tree and decorate it with silver and uh, gold. It says that it says that in the Bible. Oh, cool. So, so I'm like, all the stuff y'all doing. That's supposed to be y'all using this Bible, y'all Christian Bible, saying that y'all y'all uh, prophet that Jesus was born on this day. It says the totally opposite of what you're doing. Mm -hmm. it, it, and like, when we when, when you say that Jesus, Esau, peace of blessing be upon him, was not born on December the twenty fifth. When was he born? Well, they said it was during the time of um. When the, uh, the uh, sheep was out, so it was mm -hmm. probably pretty warm outside. So that's like in September, mm -hmm. from, my, from my understanding, around mm -hmm. September. That uh, mm -hmm. actually Nimrod was born on December twenty fifth, okay. from my understanding. So okay, and we gonna get to Nimrod. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, we gonna get to Nimrod. So you saying that the Messiah was not born? On that day, okay. No. According to the Muslims, not to the Muslims, huh? Well, according, really, even well, in Islam, they say the date tricks was right because they was falling, and the date tricks they write that around September. But um, uh, um, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, even even in the Bible, when it's around the time of his birth. It wouldn't have been in December. Okay, okay, and you know, you know what? When we okay, we have substantiated number one that first of all, you celebrate what you want to celebrate. Yeah. But, but second, this is the reason that Muslims do not celebrate Christmas. Okay, and I, you know what? When when you make a statement like that, I would like to ask you a question. Why is it on Christmas that is a greater emphasis put on buying presents and buying cars and watches and there's not a great, great emphasis on talking about the goodness of the Messiah? Not by a few, I'm talking about by the masses. They are concentrated on com the commercial value of this day, instead of talking about the goodness and the kindness of the Messiah, can you elaborate on that? Yeah, well, in this dunya that we in right now, it you know, capital mm -hmm. we in a capitalistic society, so mm -hmm. you know, money, money is the top top thing, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, years ago, prior to um the Emperor Constantine, who mm -hmm. if some of y'all don't know, you Christians. The Emperor Constantine is the one who established the Trinity. So prior to Constantine, Christians didn't even believe what is, the what is the Trinity for people that don't there's some people that don't know? And what uh, is doing you? What is doing you? I know what doing you means, but somebody don't know what doing you is. Doing what is Trinity? The doing is this this is what we're living in now. This, this right. world that we're living in now, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um the Trinity, you know, is the, the three, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, you know. Okay. That, that was established. But prior okay. to that. Christians really didn't celebrate Christmas how I celebrated now. You know, okay. they was already having celebrations, but they wasn't celebrating the birth of Jesus. Okay. You know, but uh, 
<laughs> it was at the Constantine where Jesus came in and December 24th was uh, declared to his birth. And, uh, okay. you know, once once society as a whole seen how much money they could make off of this, it's like, you know, they was like, okay, we're going to commercialize this. We're going to have people, people who don't believe in, like, Santa Claus, like, all right, Santa Claus was traditionally a white fat guy, right, with a red suit. Oh, so, yes. like, so black people can't relate to that. So we're going to make Santa black and make black people, make it more relatable to black people, right? Mm-hmm. So it's spend money, spend money. It's like it's about gift giving because in the story of Jesus in the Bible, you know, the uh three wise men followed the star and they came bearing gifts. So that's mm -hmm. that's the purpose why you give gifts on uh Christmas for the because it's supposed to be the birthday of Jesus, right? Three wise men and all that, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. I'm just like you said, I'm just like leading up to why gifts is given and like and it just got to the point where like Jesus got pushed out of the picture and Santa Claus became, you know what I'm saying, the main focus. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it was like, I was asked one time, it was like, by a friend of mine, I was like, when did you stop believing in Santa Claus? And uh, if anybody listen with kids, I'm sorry, I want to, but I just got to keep it 100 real quick. And I was like, I really never believed in Santa Claus because um, once I heard the story, I'm like, well, I live at, we didn't have no chimney for nobody to come down in. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> and then, like, you know, my mother used to take us to take pictures with Santa Claus, and you know, so what you want for Christmas? And I never got what I asked for, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm like, well, this guy can't be real, you know? Mm -hmm. so, you know what, you know what, brother? Um, all due respect to the Christians, all due respect. You do what you want to do. I'm just talking about an Islamic point of view. I would like to ask you why it says specifically in the Bible, Thou shall not lie. You say it again, Thou shall not lie. So why I, why do they perpetrate a lie to their son or daughter and nephew and say, There's a Santa Claus? Maybe you can. Give me some clarity on it. <laughs> me, and I, I'm like you. I don't know why you would tell your child a lie and then tell them not to lie. Like, it is a contradictory. Like, mm -hmm. but my, it, it's like, I guess the excitement or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. like, that, that's the only thing I can see for them, for them to tell them, like, or to, to convince them to do good because they say, if, hey, if some of you, um, if you're naughty, Santa Claus gonna put uh, coal in your stocking, right? You're mm -hmm. not gonna get what you asked for for Christmas. So mm -hmm. if you do good in school, get good grades, then Santa Claus gonna bring you what you asked for. So mm -hmm. it's like a motivational thing, I would think that they, they they would do that instead of just telling them, "Hey, do good, do good in school, and you gonna get something." They you know white fat guy gonna bring you nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get this for you. Cause look, mm -hmm. think about this. Once once kids get to the age and then the, the, the figure out all oh, it ain't no Santa Claus, they still be getting gifts, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And yes. they know Santa Claus. They never brought me no gift before, and I'm mm -hmm. still getting gifts because I know it ain't no Santa Claus. So you might as well just tell them from the beginning. Mm. Let me put out something real quick. Now we we we're, we're talking with Brother Tyrone, and you know what? Join the Flaming Crescent Society, and you know what? And then we'll move on from the conversation. Tell us about the Flaming Crescent Society and why they should join. Well, the Flaming Crescent Society was started by, uh, I think, in '92 by uh, Minister Salim Abdul Khalid. Mm -hmm. It was created to, for the remembrance of Malcolm X. Okay. Before Malcolm X um, ever passed, before he passed, he said if he was ever to start another pub publication, he would name it the Flaming Crescent. Mm -hmm. so want to set the world on fire, so that's why Minister Salim really created this this nonprofit organization, the Flame and Crescent Society, where we keep up the remembrance of Malcolm X and uh, spread the uh, this ding, you know, give dollar for this Islam and the upliftment of Black people. Mm -hmm. Those two things, it's like mm -hmm. to join this organization, you don't necessarily have to be a Muslim. You just got to be a black person that's willing to, you know, mm -hmm. help your people out. And, you know, and 
give them this knowledge for us to stop doing a lot of this lunacy, particularly the young young ones, you know. Yeah, and y'all know I let y'all know I am I am a member, but I'm not because I'm doing so many things. I can't participate like y'all can. Right. But I, can help, I can help them my own way. <laughs> right? Yeah, you do. You do. Hey. Okay. Look, it's much appreciate all what you do, you know. Yeah. So, Everything, I'm do a lot, you know. Okay, but you know what? Getting back to Christmas, first of all, we have substantiated that Esau, a uh, Jesus, peace and blessed be upon him, was not born on that day. Okay, but it is a symbolization of his birthday. So I like to ask you: Do Muslims? celebrate birthdays i already know the answer but yeah, uh, yeah, why, yeah why, why not? It's, it's it's not haram meaning forbidden in islam to celebrate birthdays but it ain't no big thing like actually if you look at the birth what birth you're only born one time so you only got one birthday and that's when you're born anything after that is the anniversary of your birth mm -hmm. you know but, but you know like people like to celebrate when their birthday come around again, but like to me, it's really not a big thing. I don't I, those who do, and it's some Muslims that do. You know, I don't really. It, um, once once I became grown and like I didn't did like all oh, all that partying and stuff. You know, I'm like I didn't did it all. You know, I didn't know. You, my question to follow, my question to follow up about that follow up. Is that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu did not celebrate birthdays? But my question to you is: there may be a Muslim that is not at that developmental stage to understand that that's something that we don't do. Would you agree with that? I disagree with that. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. So, it ain't like <clears throat> like you said. People understand, and they have different levels of understanding. You know what I'm saying? So, um, mm -hmm. I don't, it's just mm -hmm. another day, you know. So, you would say, so therefore, that is not a day to celebrate. No, it's not a day because, first of all, we don't even celebrate birthdays. I'm talking about the those that have the degree of understanding. I'll put it that way. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. And you know what? I want you, 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 you have mentioned something. It is, I think it is very, very important. I, you know what? I want to go back to the Bible. The Bible says, I don't know what verse it is because I'm not an expert in the Bible. It said that you should not use trees. Yeah. To celebrate. And they decorate the trees with holly. Holly represents something. And why, why should you not utilize the tree and use holly? You put it around the tree. Why? Well, for a lot of reasons. Uh... First of all, the tree is a living thing. You can kill the tree and then put mm -hmm. it in your house. You know that that's uh you know that's some. If if you don't have to kill nothing you, for like your survival, then you shouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. other thing you put you putting stuff. If you got little kids, it can harm them. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. And I'm mm -hmm. I'm speaking from like from today's perspective. You know, mm -hmm. how people. Mm -hmm. And then if you got animals, it got, animals is a lot of, you know, mm -hmm. bring harm to them. You know, um, you you know what? You had said something. And you know what? You blew my mind. You really did. <laughs> you had mentioned, first of all, I know who it is, but, <laughs> but you had mentioned Nimrod. Nimrod, who you know what? Who is Nimrod? What 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 are you talking about? I got other questions after that. Who is Nimrod? What are you talking about? I'm asking you to give me the clarification on Nimrod. All right. In the Bible, Nimrod was a mighty warrior. He was um uh when uh the languages, he the one to get them to, uh the people start speaking different languages, uh Tower of Babel. I got a question. I thought he was a sorcerer, but go ahead, brother. Well, go hey, ahead. from my understanding, you, you you might be more knowledgeable on it than myself. No, no sir. <laughs> go ahead. Going on by um, what I what I my understanding, mm -hmm. and with the Tower of Babel, you know, 
And that's when uh they say God in the Bible, God, you know what I'm saying, gave everybody different languages and things like okay. that. Excuse uh, me for one question. The brother said about the tree. Jeremiah the, the Christians should not use trees. It's in Jeremiah 10th verse 1 through 5, my brother. Thank you. That's, Thank that, you hey, brother. that's brother James Willis. He part of the nation. That's that's Minister Ben, brother, right there. He, bro, good really brother right there. That's a so good I'm brother right there. Appreciate I'm that. Right. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But getting back to Nimrod, I, you know what? Tell us who is Nimrod? What was that all about? We've heard the name. Some people have heard the name, and some people have not heard the name. But educate us with your well, divine well, knowledge. <laughs> well, Nimrod, he, he, like I said, he caused a lot of mischief for, mm -hmm. in, in his society, you know. So he, he wasn't like a good person that you would want to celebrate. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he was behind a lot of bloodshed and things like that, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, and this coming from my understanding. Mm -hmm. May Allah forgive me if I said anything wrong that I don't know. Forgive me. Mm -hmm. but this just coming from what I what I know. But I know, so it could be something I'm missing out. I don't know. I could have said something wrong. I don't know. All mm -hmm. I know is that. But uh, yeah, Nimrod, and they say he was born on December 25th, and that's 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 actually a person you uh, celebrate. Well, you know what? Um, my knowledge. I want to let you know what. Please check, correct me if I'm wrong. I was told that Nimrod was a sorcerer, and he did things and even had relations with his mother. Yeah. Is that, if I, I, I don't know what I'm talking about, no. please correct me. No, no. You're the expert, you're the expert, <laughs> not me. Hey, I don't, I, that's, that's a story I done heard too. Okay. So when we talk about the symbolization, first of all, when Nimrod died, what happened when Nimrod died? I already know, but go ahead. I, should, I'm, I'm, see, my mind drawing a blank right now on that one. Um, but I, you I, want I, me to go ahead and do this thing? Yeah, go <laughs> ahead, because I'm drawing a blank right now. Okay, you know what? You know what? First of all, Nimrod was a very, very evil man. He was a sorcerer. And he even had relations with his mother. He did. Yeah. But what happened is when Nimrod died, his mother plucked a tree, which the okay. Bible says you should not use the tree, and put a tree up in a spot and said, if you put presents around the tree, Nimrod would be pleased with you. Yeah. <laughs> Right. right. So that is, but correct me, brother, if I am, you know what, if I have it not, not, Now, me, I, I never heard about the presence, but I heard that she, the tree, yeah, she, she put the tree to mark where he was uh, buried at. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But the thing is, so what I'm saying is, for those that want to celebrate it, do what you want to do. But I'm just saying the Muslim's position that the thing is, Celebrating that it has been in Judeo Judeo Christian belief systems and pagan belief systems have been incorporated, right? Brought into Christmas to make it acceptable to the populace. I mean, but if I'm wrong, correct me, brother. And please, no, can, no. You can you can you elaborate on it, brother? Oh yeah. That's 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 uh, when they seen it was a big money grab with this, they ran with it. They ran, they ran with it. Mm -hmm. you know, they, they they start pipping religion. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you, you got you, 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 go ahead, brother. Let me be you quiet. Got, you got <laughs> you got people that was willing to go into debt to buy Christmas gift for people who really don't, don't really deserve the Christmas gift that you getting them. Mm -hmm. I, I, it's like it's been times people like got Christmas gifts and they look and they like, man, I wish I wouldn't have gave them the Christmas gift I gave them. They gave me this this cheap Christmas gift or whatever. It ain't it, 
And he's the, you know, they say it's all about the thought that matters. Mm -hmm. I thought about you. To people like, I guess you didn't think about me a lot giving me this cheap present. You know that. You know, it, it, it came down to that. Like who could, who could, <clears throat> who could get a best present? You know, it's like it became like that at one point in time with some people. Like who could get the best gift? You in competition. Mm hmm. And let me tell, ask people, you know what, this is a show that you can call in or you can leave a message in the chat room. I want to ask people to share this broadcast down below. Share this on YouTube. Show it on platform, perimeter, somebody even say Twitter, mm -hmm. Facebook. Share this. But I want to give a, do a little commercial for me. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> I need it. Can I say, you know what, if people like this broadcast, please, you know what I have, there will be a PayPal um, link at the bottom to make a donation to help me in my cultivation and development of my platform to make it better. And yeah, donate, donate you, to the brother, because he, mm -hmm. he, the brother do a lot of work. He, he, he puts mm -hmm. in a lot of work. Mm -hmm. And uh, y'all mm -hmm. do donate. Now donate mm -hmm. to the brother. And you know what? And even if you can't do that, give me a prayer. Give me a prayer. Give me a prayer. Give me a salat. But I understand everybody's not going to donate, but I do understand by reading my Quran, I'm going to get exactly what Allah wants me to have. But whatever Allah wants me to have, no man or woman can deny me. Right. So, so I can pass out, Brother Ty, I could pass out a thousand cards, business cards. Right. But right. I'm not going to get any more than what Allah wants me to have. And it's sufficient. It's sufficient. Uh -huh. So we do video production in Chicago. And we film events. And we're working. And if you want to help, fine. But if you don't, don't want to help, you know what? I'm going to get whatever Allah wants me to have. It's already it's already prophesied already. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. But you know when, 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 we, when we talk about Christmas, man, um I would like to ask you, there's some people I wanna we, we don't talk about Mariam. Right. Can you tell us about Mariam. Mariam, but people don't don't know, that was Mary, okay, in English. And oh, Jesus. we don't talk about her. Which could you tell us something about the Messiah's mother, please, and how important she is? Yeah. Even now, brother. Like, like she, she, the thing is, she was pure. That's why the Most High Allah created, choose her to bear, bear this fruit right here. And she, you know, he's like, she was a child's lady. You know, she, she, she was good. You know, she had good moral. Morals about herself, mm -hmm. good character, mm -hmm. and Allah was like, "Yeah, you, you're gonna be the one who better see because mm -hmm. you you uh you fit you fit all the attributes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that the seed need to be planted in, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And give it birth to, mm -hmm. you know, and, and Mary not like even in Christianity, Mary's not as um revered in Islam. It's a, it's a whole other thing. It's sort of named after Maryam in the Quran. That's, mm -hmm. how, that's how important she is in Islam. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? And you, and you know what, brother? I, I, will, I will really... This is something that I just really, really need to know from you. Muslims talk about Prophet Muhammad, Salawah, Allah, Salam. Well, all I hear them to mention is... Prophet Muhammad, Salawah Allah, Salam. I got two questions. Who was Prophet Muhammad, Salawah Allah, Salam? What is his significance? What is his importance? Why is he our, our, our best example? And please, don't help the audience to understand. And then I got a question after that. All right. And this, this, this is coming from my understanding. You, you, uh, the Aramaic, the Abraham religions, you got the three, you got Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, right? Mm -hmm. So, Abraham, you know, prior to Abraham, 
God coming to Abraham, you know, there's a lot of uh, idol worship and things like that. So once Abraham got the understanding that there's no God but God, and God's like, okay, you're going to be one of my messages, and you'll see going to get his message to the world. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he had two sons, mm -hmm. Ishmael and Isaac. Mm -hmm. You know, Ishmael, the seed of Islam, Isaac, the seed of Christianity and Judaism. But anyway, just, just to tie this stuff up, all the prophets, the, the, the ones that most people know, Moses was known to be a Jew. Jesus, the known for Christianity, establishing Christianity. Well, I, let me rephrase that. Moses brought the Torah. Jesus brought the gospel. And Muhammad, peace be upon him, brought Islam. And he tied that all together. He, he mm -hmm. was sealed. That's why he's called the seal of the prophets, because he mm -hmm. sealed his way of life. See, when Moses was teaching his way of life, the people deviated away from it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why Jesus had to come. Mm-hmm. And teach teach them a new set of people because the, the, the prior generation had deviated and it was just so far gone. So Jesus had to come and like, look, this is this is the way. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, when we, when we talk about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu I would like to ask you two more questions in regards to that. Mm -hmm. One question is there's some people that uh, of the understanding, and I say it's out of ignorance to say that we worship Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and call it Muhammadism, and I'm not even pronouncing the word right. Could you give clarification on that? Yeah, well, <laughs> Prophet Muhammad was just a a man, just like we are, you know. Mm -hmm. But he, he he um Allah chose him because he was a pure. Before he even got the call, he was known as the Alameen, the trustworthy, the one worthy of trust. He mm -hmm. had good moral character, good standing. Mm -hmm. just, like just like how the mother of Jesus was. That's why Allah chose her. It is the same, they, they all had the same type of characteristics. The mm -hmm. only difference with the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that was different between everybody that came for him, Moses, his duty was for a Pacific people. Mm -hmm. Jesus, his his mission was for Pacific people. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, Allah peace and blessings be upon him. His mission was for all of humanity because he was mm -hmm. tied us all together. He was the one. Prophet Muhammad was the one to tell the world, look, I'm the last one to come to teach you this. Yes. After me, it, it ain't going to be no more. After me, Allah going to come destroy this world. Mm -hmm. but I, I'm giving you, I'm giving you this message. Yes. And then after me, that's it. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, brother, when we, this is a question, and, and you know what? Please give me some clarity. Please, I'm asking. I'm asking. I'm pleading. Why is it that when we mention Prophet Muhammad's name, Salam, we say peace be upon him, but with the rest of the prophets, there's not an emphasis on doing that. Can you? Give me some clarification. Yeah, well, you put, uh, um, you say peace be upon the other prophets, but you say may Allah peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad. Okay. Now, the Prophet, the reason why is because, like I was saying, he is the last of the prophets. He, he's the seal. You know, it, it is like I'm trying to put it in a way where, like, a layman's type of term. The last. The last. Yeah, the last. It was like. He, 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 he the one, he the, he, he the glue to this. He the one, he be putting it all together. All the puzzles, he be putting it together. Well, let me, let, me re, let me restructure the question. How come we don't put that great of emphasis when we mention the other prophets of adding that? I'm talking about the majority of Muslims. I'm asking for clarification. And from my understanding, and because everything I say is from my understanding, if I'm wrong, may Allah forgive me. Mm -hmm. if somebody know better than me, correct me. But uh, him him being the last, he, he he was the. I ain't gonna. I don't want to put him above no other prophet. But he was the one that. Hey, this is I, this is for everybody. This is not just for one group of people. This is mm -hmm. for all of humanity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Quran mm -hmm. that was given to me is for all, not to be hidden. It's to be given freely. 
So you're saying we should not put any emphasis on saying peace be upon them to the other prophets. We should not do it. You, you could do that. Ain't, ain't like okay. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they was great and they all right because they, they fulfilled their purpose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, when we talk about Islam, I'm getting off of the other subject matter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I can talk about Islam all day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to ask you, man, you know what? Um, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu who was the first convert in Islam? Who who was the first person that accepted Islam after the Prophet Muhammad, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi determined that you know what? By getting the message from Angel Gabriel that he was the prophet, who was the first person that accepted? And this is from my understanding. And if I'm wrong, forgive me. But his wife Khadijah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. She, 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 she was the first to accept it, from my understanding. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All praises do that. Who was Khadijah? Huh? Who was she? And you know what? Why did she make a decision to marry a man that was 15 years her junior? Uh, I'm gonna explain for non Muslims that don't know, like, um, that, that look at Islam, they say Islam suppressed women and this and that. Mm -hmm. Now, the prophet, the prophet first and only wife that he had until she died because when he was married to Khadija, he was only married to her, he never took on other wives. She was mm -hmm. so, and like you said, she was 15 years uh, older than him, mm -hmm. and she was a, a very wealthy lady. In the society, mm -hmm. businesses. Mm -hmm. you know, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his uncle, you know, had got him a job working for her. Tell my talent was it talent? Uh, I can't think of which oh, one. Okay. One of the mm -hmm. uncles who raised him at his father, mother. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, he, he was a good worker. You know, he did mm -hmm. good commerce and things like that for for her. Mm -hmm. So, and him being an upright guy, she she chose him to be her husband. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he was married to her and only her until her death. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, Khadija, Khadija is the type of woman, if you're Muslim, that's the type of woman you should want to have as your wife. Yeah, alhamdulillah. And was she the best example? Or was Prophet Muhammad, is Prophet Muhammad the best example? Is he, out of all the prophets, is he the best example? That we should try to, <laughs> yeah, try yeah. to develop characteristics in a person that not person that characteristics of it was he the best. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, mm -hmm. he, 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 and the reason why I said it because since I'm being the last, he the last thing that we got to look at to look at like things like you going back to the time of Moses. Things done changed so much from the time of mm -hmm. Moses and Jesus mm -hmm. and Prophet Muhammad. Even though it's been so long, it's closer. So he, mm -hmm. he's the perfect example because the proximity of when he when he came. Mm -hmm. You don't have mm -hmm. to look as far back for a perfect example, but to him. Yeah, you know I like to you know it's, it's, it's something just mind boggling to me. And um, with all due respect to the Christians out there, God, yeah, I just want everybody to understand that we are getting a Muslim's point of view about Christmas. And subject matters that may be touchy to other people. And you have a right to believe what you want to believe. But I'm just giving a Muslim, he's giving an Islamic, a Muslim point of view. And I want to ask you, it's, I, I, I read something in the Bible. And I, and I would like some type of clarification. It says that we, it says in the Bible, which we know that there's truth in the Bible. There's truth in the Bible. But it says that we are born in sin. Are we born in sin? I now, when I, before I came into this Islam, even then I never understood that. I'm like, how could a person born don't have no understanding of what anything don't know what a sin is. Don't, how could they be born in sin? Mm -hmm. you, you know, it's like you don't even understand right from wrong to even commit a sin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. 
So I, I'm mm -hmm. like, that right there, I, I never could understand why you would think that. I'm like, a person is never born in sin. Mm -hmm. You know? You, and you know what? And you know what, brother? This is um about Esau. And then we go back to Christmas. And we're going to recap on Christmas. Did, geez, can't, you know what? If you, I'm gonna, let me ask you like this, man. If you get, if you run a, if you run a, if you, if you run past a traffic sign that says stop, do you think that I should get the ticket? <laughs> well, it's, it's a reason I'm, I'm asking. If I'm the police officer and the sign says stop and you don't stop, then and you don't broke the law, right? Okay, 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 and then, okay. Thank you for that. But here's another question. How can somebody else be responsible for your sins? They say that the Messiah died for your sins. Just like I do not, would not get that traffic ticket. Right. If you ran and like, how can I, how did, how did he come with the concept right. that Esau died for your sins? I'm using the, I use the traffic ticket as a response. Oh, oh God, I misunderstood you. Like, uh, no, you could. You're right. It's like, okay. I always just say this. I'm like, if Jesus died for everybody's sins, what about the people who was who died before he even died for the sins? Okay, okay. I, mm -hmm. I, I use that as an example, and they try to, it's like, forgive me. I ain't trying to beat up on no Christians or nothing like that. It's just uh, I'm just speaking from my understanding and trying to answer the question. As best I can from mm -hmm. you know, Islamic perspective, mm -hmm. but uh, how could you die for somebody's sins who haven't even committed a sin at all, or mm -hmm. who already done died already? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And, you, and you, so, therefore, the statement, according to the Islamic theology, no one can die for your sins, according no. to the Islamic. Theology. Every every human being, when he come into the knowledge of understanding, any sin that he commit is on him. It ain't no you, you're gonna be accountable for anything that you do wrong or good once you come into the knowledge of understanding. Mm -hmm. and can, mm -hmm. can nobody your parents can't do nothing for you, your kids, your brothers, your sisters, they can't take on none of your bad things. It's all gonna fall on you. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Well, you know what? I got a little, I got a little, you know, what's an imam that I enjoy listening to. He's in Chicago. He's on um 87th, right on 87th and Halsted. And but Imam Khalil. So I want them to hear some excerpts and we just take a little break. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back and probably recap about Christmas. Okay. If, if it's the will of Allah. Yes, sir. <laughs> if it's the will of Allah. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Okay. Okay, that's what we're going to do. I want to give them the dawah over there. Please. You've been doing it anyway, but. Well, I, I, I just wanted to say that this uh, message of Islam, this is a message of, message of uh, truth. This is a message that uh, all people, all human being, is invited to come to Islam. Islam is not a new religion. It is a religion that Noah, it's a religion of uh, Adam, it's a religion of Noah, it's the religion of Ibrahim, it's the religion of Sulaiman, of David, of Jesus, of Moses, of all of the prophets. And it is simple. It is to come and to worship one God alone and do not associate partners with him. Islam yeah. is a religion of worshiping Almighty God alone and do not associate partners with Him. And the worship is done through its legislative legislative form. And inshallah, um, I'm asking right now, is it possible that you can, we have one minute left, you can come back next Monday and we can do two shows. I say inshallah, but is that... Hopefully, inshallah. You know, because I, I, I want to spread this dawah and this is my way. With my limited degree of knowledge, so spreading the doubt <clears throat> of Islam, and I just want Allah to use me as He deems fit. You know, nothing against any other religion. Allah bless you. Know. But Islam is the best for me. 
Yeah, Lord bless you. Sure. And my family. <laughs> but uh, I thank you for coming down. And um, I'm honored. And uh, to what? Salam alaikum. Okay. And I greet the people in the words of Salam alaikum. There's peace and blessings be upon you. And I mention both Jesus and Muhammad's names because they were both offers of truth and reality. And come on down and worship with us at 88. 8726. 8726 South Halsey. Okay, so I had, you know, there was an Imam that I have a lot of respect for. And, yeah. um, he believes in the Sharia just like I believe in the Sharia and Islam. But I'd like to ask you can you give some type of invitation to the people, invite the people to Islam? And why should they come to Islam? Why? What? Um, Islam is the best way, in my opinion. Like, <clears throat> you got these other religions saying, oh, the only way you get into heaven is you got to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, or uh, this and that. And we don't say, uh, you know, you ain't getting to paradise if you don't uh, accept Islam. But we say Islam is the best way for you to get to paradise. You, 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 Islam, this, this, this way I want you, can you say that again? Because shirk is unforgivable in Islam. But go ahead. Can you say that to me again? Islam is the best way. Like okay. for, for you to um I'm saying it's better like it's been proven. It's like and a thing that I got with a lot of people, these especially these um these these Afrocentric people, they praise Malcolm X so much, but discredit the religion they made him who he is. I say I, that's a contradictory right there. Mm -hmm. I say um, Malcolm is one of the ways reasons why I chose Islam as a way of life. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and, and it's like uh, I got people ask me, man, you you, I ain't never heard nothing bad about you. What is it about you? I'm like, this Islam. I say I can't credit anything that Islam is. This I get at the credit, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, um. And I, I done seen the transformation that it done had on people. You know, I, mm -hmm. I, I, I ain't never seen nothing transform a people better than Islam from from a bad way to a good way. Now I, mm -hmm. I'm saying this, and it's just coming from me from what I done seen. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to ask you something. You see other religions, may, but I, I give me some clarification. It's, from what my my knowledge is, but correct me. This is the shirt. It's unforgettable. Once you have the knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. Now, people yeah, yeah, yeah. People yeah. do not know what shirk is. Shirk means what? I'm bowing down to my phone. Right. I'm calling, I'm calling, I'm worshiping God. I'm not worshiping Jesus and saying that that's the only, you know what? That's God. So I need you to give me some clarification. Okay. Yeah. Well, Jesus is not God. Okay. You know, he never did say he was that. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, he said he was the opposite. He, he said he was just the, I'm just the messenger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm the one who sent me. Mm -hmm. It, it mm -hmm. was man, it was man who made him more than what he, what he really is. Mm -hmm. He got people mm -hmm. worshiping him instead of the creator. You know, man, I'm looking at the numbers. There are people watching, but they're not leaving nothing in the chat room and they're not calling. And you know what that means? They're listening intensely <laughs> to you. your content of the information that you're disseminating. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's a right. And I ask all mm -hmm. I ask all for forgiveness for anything I said that's misleading or wrong or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh mm -hmm. Islam, man, it, um a lot of people they just don't is the disciplinary things, you know. Like I tell people, I'm like Allah only for like, man, we can't have fun, this and that. I say, this is for your own benefit, though. You know what I'm saying? Your, your own yeah. benefit, your own health benefit. Like, mm -hmm. I can't give up this bacon, man. I'm no, like, man. If, 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 you, if you got high blood pressure, you should, and it'll make you feel better. Can't give up this damn pork chop, and brother, I ain't gonna lie to you, brother. I used to love pork chops. Yeah, I really, I, um, <laughs> The only thing, only thing pork that I really like was bacon. Mm -hmm. I wasn't no big fan of, or like byproducts like bologna or something like that. But is 
Is there not something, you know what, brother, put something in here? V-U-N dot wrench. I don't know what that means, but you know what? You're free to put what you want in this chat room. I ain't going to censor you like some. <laughs> right. <laughs> but you know what? Is there not something in the Bible that said that you should not eat animals with hoops? If I'm saying it correctly. Yeah. Book of Leviticus, the book of Leviticus. The, the book of Leviticus speak upon mm -hmm. that. The foods mm -hmm. that uh you should stay away from. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Damn, this stretching into a two hour show. I didn't Well, you know, I got on late. My apologies, you know what I'm saying? But, but you know, it's okay because you know what? We're doing this for the sake of Allah. Yes, sir. And you know, and I would like to ask you something. I'm gonna get back to Christmas at the end. I would like to ask you that Islam is under attack, yeah, uh -huh. vigorously. Okay, vigorously. When you look at the Simpsons as a cartoon, they make fun of Muslim people by make saying, "Beware of the bearded ones. Beware of the bearded ones." They, Charlie Hasbro, where they made a picture of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu they enraged the Islamic community and they made a book called Sat Satanic Rituals. Yeah. Well, that man, they still trying to get him. I don't, I don't, I don't have to say it, but I would like to ask you, why is Islam vigorously being Attacks. Well, that we pray five times a day. We believe in Ramadan. We believe in one God, and we believe in paying zakat. Why are we being attacked? Why did the why does the Quarantel Pro still exist? Where Islamic groups have been infiltrated by agents that they train in New York to destabilize. The growth of Islam. Why? You're the expert. Explain it to me. <laughs> well, eventually, they ain't gonna have no choice. But Islam gonna eventually just take over anyway. And see, that's that's one of the problems. Do peace. Okay. Like, um, Do peace. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. It's just the natural. It's going. It's just going naturally. You know, like you ain't got to force nobody. Eventually, they gonna gravitate to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason why they don't like it because, see, particularly in America. Yeah, America being a capitalistic society, and you got certain people, you know what I'm saying, want to hoard all the money, you know what I'm saying, charge interest in that. That's Haram and Islam, you know, and that'll take away from a lot of these people who got these money, these banks, is charging this crazy interest for loans and things like that. Mm -hmm. that, that they don't, they like to, if the Sharia come in, no more interest on this money. See, they like. I, I, it was at one. It was one point in time. I told this man, I'm like, in Islam, there's no interest on a loan. He was like, well, how do they make money? I say, see, that ain't the point of the loan. In Islam, we give you the loan for you to purchase what you want, and you just mm -hmm. give us back what we loaned you. Like, mm -hmm. if I ask you for twenty dollars, you're not gonna ask me to. Oh man, you got to give me thirty back. The loan shop. <laughs> right. You just yeah, like, All right. and see. That's how in Islam. That's how we look at it. But see, in America, they ain't no. We about money, and see, mm -hmm. they know the rise of Islam, which is gonna happen anyway, and they seeing this happening. That's why they want to, and the public media want to make Islam as this radical, crazy religion. And just because you got a couple of radical people who call themselves Muslim but don't practice Islam, do. Outrageous type of thing. Oh, uh, see, look at the Muslims. Look what they're doing. They're blowing themselves up, killing people, doing this and that, right? Mm -hmm. When people get confused, they they get the Muslim confused with Islam. Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. Islam is the perfect way. Mm -hmm. We Muslims, we're not perfect, but we got it. We got instructions that are perfect for us to follow. Now mm -hmm. it's on us to follow it, mm -hmm. and everybody don't follow it, the instructions the proper way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nope. And you know, brother, um going into something else. You said, damn, this turning into a two-hour interview. Mm -hmm. 
I, I, I'm just like that when it comes to Islam. I can't help. But my question, you know what? Please educate me. What I want to know, why is it when an imam, a pre- equivalent of a preacher in a church, is presented with the question, what type of governmental system do you want to see? And they say, we want the Democratic Party or the Republican Party. But that is not what we are taught the rank and file understand that the Sharia law, Islamic law, under the right principles is the best for the society. But they waffle in front of the news. Help me to understand. If I'm wrong, let me know, brother. Yeah, they don't they don't they don't speak about a theocracy way of living. Mm-hmm. And that's because like in America they not um they subjugated to certain things if they speak that away, you know. You might lose some type of privilege that you might have in the United States, money or whatever, you know. So they No, what I'm at, what I'm asking you is, why does the Imam dance around the question when they are presented by is presented by news media to get it on and get it on? I'm asking you to give me some clarity to help me to understand, damn it, because it's mind boggling to me. And you're the expert. Well, the only, only thing I can say is it's some type of privilege that they getting from this. Like, because I don't I like you. They know the truth. At least mm-hmm. I'm assuming they know the truth. They're an imam. So it's like, and, and you know, but in this society, in, in order for you to maneuver around and get certain things, certain times you just got to be like, you got to go along to get along. Hmm. You know, so that's what they do. So the hell with the Shari- Sharia law, the hell with it. The hell with it. I want to be a good Democrat. I want to be a good Muslim. No, I don't even want to mention the truth. Yeah, I see them run away, brother. They yeah. run away. No, we believe it. And you know what? And I was interested in knowing what was your take back on it because that is not what the rank and file believes. They don't believe that. You know? They don't believe that. No. You know, I don't believe that. And you know, the enemy is watching, but you know what? But we ain't doing nothing against the law anyway. No, uh uh-uh. Okay. Well, you know, when, when, when we talk about the Cointel Pro, and you know, I'm, I'm going to not name this Masjid, and you might have heard of Masjid El Farouk on yeah. 80, on 91st of Chicago. <laughs> I heard of it. 91st of Stony Island. They take pictures sometimes of people walking inside of the mosque. And that's the angels. Why? What have we done, brother? Please, help me to understand. I said they take pictures. I want the enemy to hear this and we're aware of this of us while we're walking inside in the mosque of people that are going to worship to pray on Juma, which is a holy day. Why? What have we done, brother? Well, what that's we not, done? well we ain't did nothing. It's the religion that they're scared of, but they want to keep a contact on who we who, who following this way of life, who following this religion. So we, we could see, we could build up. All right, who is this going up in this masjid on Friday, every Friday? Who is who is these people going up in there every mm-hmm. Friday? Mm-hmm. So we can be like, all right, and they might try to label them as something. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. uh, yeah, this guy, you go through his background, he might have had a shady background before he took Shahada or something like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, this a shady type of guy right here. He, mm-hmm. he got ty- terrorist type of activities in his background. So now they'll be looking at the masjid as oh mm-hmm. y'all 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 harbor terrorists here. Mm-hmm. You know, and um, you when we talk about the coin tail pro, I know this because I did. You know, I did my research. They in in it's a place called the farm. I think mm-hmm. it's around New York. They train people to become imams and to move up the structure of the Islamic organizations to cause disruption and they may send a message to that person and it may be writing on the one side but invisible ink on the other side. Why, bro? What have we done? What have we done? We pray five times a day. What have we done, bro? 
We ain't there nothing yet, thank you, but bear witness there's no God but Allah and Muhammad is the messenger. And that alone scares a lot of people right there. You know? And, mm -hmm. and um they they just know and it's gonna happen anyway. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. that once Islam take over, it's over with for this way of life. For them what people. Peace? What peace? We can yeah. put an enemy out there with peace because we're not advocating no violence. No, this this no, ain't Ain't nobody gonna force this. This this way of life gonna transform naturally. It ain't gonna be no force, no fighting, or nothing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You you gonna bow down to the you gonna bow down to the Creator. Mm -hmm. You ain't gonna have no like I ain't gonna force it. Just like once you it's just once you just see, dang, this is the only way. Mm -hmm. And all and all y'all that's um and I'm I'm talking about the upper ups in this government. Mm -hmm. You know, they go, they go, oh, oh, man, security, CIA, FBI, yeah. all these people, they can't stop the growth. Go ahead. Right. It's, it's, it's just like, um, with these natural disasters that's happening, it's like, man, we can't do nothing to stop this from happening and this and that. It's like, that's what that's a lot of letting, letting you know, man, you're gonna have to bear witness to what I am, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And if mm -hmm. you don't, it's just like, you're gonna lose, okay? You know, like, ain't no humans gonna do nothing to you, no. No, no. So, and you know what? I, I feel so sorry. And you know what? I want to, I'm going to see if you agree or disagree with this because I'm interviewing you. Mm -hmm. I commend President Biden for withdrawing from Afghanistan and letting Muslims come to the United States of America. I commend them for that because they started out with something that Afghanistan was evil. But it turned good because they're letting more Muslims come into the United States from Afghanistan. And the Taliban is taking their rightful place. And could Joe, Joe Biden, I ain't supposed to clap. He's all right with me. What is your view about that? You prefer not to discuss that. You know, I really, um, I don't say discuss it. I'm like, because that situation in Afghanistan should have been a long that, that should have been over with a long time ago. So, mm -hmm. but I, I see what you're saying. That Joe Biden is like, okay, we're moving these troops out of here. You give him a little credit for that. But mm -hmm. I'm like, um, I, I, that's something I, I you know, I'm, because Muslims need to run their own country. You know, you, you invade, it's been over there for, you know, sure. yeah. They, they need to get up. But would you accentuate that as a positive? Yeah. That yeah. Your, Islamic people are coming to the United States where they can come and with their ways and their Islam to germinate seeds that may blossom to help to bring Islam about and peacefully in the United States of America. Yeah. Now, what I'm going to say probably for the um, ruffle some feathers, maybe, maybe not, but uh, mm -hmm. now. <clears throat> You got a lot of these foreigners, Arabs, Pakistanis, and whatnot coming here. That be so-called Muslims coming to black neighborhoods, selling pork, selling alcohol, doing all this type of stuff, downgrading black people. And see, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. You know, and see, that's a problem I got with some of these foreigners, especially. Would you say that? Would you say that that goes for the majority of them, or just a segment of the population? I don't, I don't know. I can't say the majority, but a lot that I, I've seen, you know, they, they um, instead of trying to give down to the brothers and sisters like how you doing another black, they, 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 they down us, you know. Mm -hmm. bad, mm -hmm. A lot of there's a lot of bad stuff I see these foreigners doing to black, and I'm like, man, that that um, uh, so a lot mm -hmm. of them I'm like, man, I don't, I say, cause y'all come over there, man, and take advantage of things, you know, uh, black people in particular. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I don't. I don't really like to, um, you know, be on a race type of thing because that ain't in Islam. Mm -hmm. Some Muslims that look down on black people, even black Muslims. You have you have you have some Muslims that look down on Muslims now. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not gonna tell you about a certain evil. I'm, I'm gonna tell you that offline because you know what? Mm -hmm. um, that that's not the place to discuss that. They they fit. Let me put it this way: some Muslims that come from a different nation, 
they think they're better and they embrace their people with a smile and assalamu alaikum. And then when you come, it's like assalamu alaikum. Right. <laughs> I'm not going to call on no names. Some, you know some, 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 some of these Arabs and Pakistanis don't even acknowledge black Muslims as real Muslims. Uh, you know what? But you did, did, did not, but going to going to what you say you're saying did not prophet muhammad said that we would be divided among sex and at some point muslims will come together during the umar did that but did not prophet muhammad say that yeah that's uh that was a hadith okay. but um like, like, like i say but like as of right now i see a lot of these foreigners coming over here man and i i don't i don't care too much for them you know mm. Okay. Okay. Before I'm Muslim, did you say that the ones, the ones that's coming over here from Afghanistan, yeah, like, and I'm not saying them in particular. Mm -hmm. I'm just talking about you know foreigners from Muslim countries that come over here, set up mm -hmm. their liquor stores. They wrong. They wrong. And um, they they doing a lot of you know, and how they treat us, you know, like like you say, they treat some of treat us like we nothing. Wrong. So wrong. But like I said, I, but I, but you know something that I understand that even, even with I hate to say the nation, even with the nation, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that we would be divided among sex because and we would be envy, jealousy, and hatred of each other. But in, in some point, we're going to come together. We're going to come together. Yeah. And, and so <laughs> I got to take that, you know. And, and see, that's 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 like what you just said. The United States government, Cointel Pro. They know that, and they trying to stop that from happening. That you know what I'm saying. So that's why they keep these divisions in, and they when these mm -hmm. Arabs come in, they man, mm -hmm. these black guys, they nothing. You, now, well, when you talk about the government, when you talk about homeland security, you talk about the CIA, the FBI. Do you think that they have the ability to stop the will of Allah? No. Why you say that? No, no. A lot is, uh, you know the answer to that, but should a lot of most, a lot of most high. Mm -hmm. There's nothing higher than him. Mm -hmm. For him to decree anything, he just say be, and it is. You mm -hmm. know, and um, can't no man, can't no man do that. So, mm -hmm. so well, are, you, are you are you saying even though they're doing everything in their power? with the media dropping bombs on Islamic nations, putting out disinformation and everything, they cannot stop the will of Allah. No, sir. No, sir. It's not going to happen. I just wanted to bring it, brother. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, they, that, that's not going to happen. Like I said, it's, we going to prevail. Like you said, they plan and Allah plan and he's the best of planning. So, like, it's, it's nothing they could try to do, a plan or whatever that can outdo a lot, Tyler. You know, so it's just, it's just not gonna happen. No matter what, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna wrap it on up in a minute, and you know what? Can you give us a, a wrap up about celebrate Christmas, our uh, Xmas, and they have a right to celebrate what they want to celebrate, but why Muslims do not? celebrate and partake in this paganistic ritual. Well, you just said it. It's a paganism. It's paganism. And that's mm -hmm. Haram and Islam. You can't worship nothing other than Allah. Once you do that, you're, then you're in Shrek. You, you know? So, that's it's like, Christmas is like, is a, I, I don't want to say an abomination, mm -hmm. but um, you're going against God, basically. Like, Mm -hmm. and and you know, go ahead, brother. I'm sorry. So, so many words, and like, like you say, my Christian family they celebrate Christmas, and I yeah. look. A lot of the last judge are all us, so yeah. I can't. I'm not judging you. I, I'm. I'm not telling you, you going to the hell fire because you selling because you celebrate Christmas. I. I ain't got no authority over that. Mm -hmm. I'm just going by off the the knowledge that I know. I'm trying to make it to paradise, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to do all the things and like celebrating Christmas. And I say that's not going. That ain't nothing that's going to get me to paradise. So it ain't no need for me to do it. It's, it's, it's like 
I'm doing things to try to get the Jenna, you know. Mm -hmm. So people that don't people that don't know what Jenna is, Jenna is heaven. But go ahead. <laughs> right. So I'm trying to get there. So I'm mm -hmm. trying to do things that's gonna help me get there. And celebrating Christmas is not one of them, you know. Mm -hmm. And you know what? We want you to share this. And you know what? I got two more things. You know what? Give information about how people can join the Flame and Crescent Society. Once you send me, send me the link. It'll be in the description, please. Yeah. Um. Let me uh let me get my information out right quick. Okay. He's getting his information. And like I said, people, y'all celebrate what you want to. You know that's. That's all right, because, you know, in Islam, there's no compulsion. And people that don't know no. what compulsion means is cannot force you. Right. You can't force anything. Anyway. But you I'm just giving. Um, we can't force you to do nothing. We can't mm -hmm. force you to do nothing. Uh, so I'm giving you the uh, information about <laughs> Islam and why we don't celebrate. Again, I'm not, gonna say what, I'm not going to say what year this is because I want it to remain reverent. You know what I mean? I wanted to remain reverent. And when they could sit back and say, oh, that's why that brother, that's why y'all think the way you want to. And we have, you know, he asked it the best of our ability and the good that came from us came from Allah and the bad that came from us came from ourselves. You know, so, but, but, um, uh -huh. um as of right now, I, cause they just find out about the wrong stuff, but, um, if anybody of you on Facebook, we got a Facebook page, the Flame and Crescent Society. You can go on Facebook, Flame and Crescent Society, and follow the Flame and Crescent Society. Mm -hmm. Or um, and you can get all the information you need about joining and supporting the Flame and Crescent Society. Mm -hmm. If you're mm -hmm. on Facebook. And um, mm -hmm. like right now, <clears throat> since this pandemic, we haven't really been able to get out. We usually have monthly meetings mm -hmm. uh, discussing about, you know, what's going on in the world and things like that. And mm -hmm. uh, we have an annual tribute to Malcolm X in February on uh, the day of his assassination anywhere around there. Brother mm -hmm. Celine, he, um, he do an excellent job putting that uh, program together. Excellent. He been doing it for years. And um, if we don't, um, last year he did it Zoom. He did like a Zoom or a Facebook Live. It's beautiful, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, and we out in the community, you know, giving dialogue, helping people out, spreading the knowledge of Islam and Trying to help young young people get on the right path, you know, and that's that's what we do. That's what the flaming the flaming crisis society main purpose is the remembrance of Malcolm X and teaching people about Islam and uplifting the black community. Oh, okay. that's, that's 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 what we're about. And brother Salim been doing this for a, for a while, and uh, I support the brother in anything he do. You know, mm -hmm. I, and he asks me for anything if I'm capable, I'm going. Mm -hmm. And with you likewise, you you the same way. Yeah, I just be so big, jammed up, but I do what I can on my. Yeah. Cause you know, yeah, but you can't give me the word, it ain't, it ain't no problem. Right. No. Me, I don't. I like. I don't. I. I. I do got. I got a um, YouTube page. I really don't use it that much. I be on Facebook, so anybody want uh, to, you know, friend me, uh, you know. Tyrone Perry on Facebook and uh at Andreas328 on Twitter. Okay. And when and you know what once he sends me that 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 on Facebook page, I'm gonna put that in the bottom in the description. You know, there ain't no selfish brother, you know. We got to share. Yes, sir, yes, sir. We got to share. We got uh -huh. to share. You know, Allah only put me here for a minute. Yeah, we only here for we only here for a while, so you know. And you know what? And I, you know what? I always ask my guests at the end of the show. I have been asking you questions now for one. What's that? One hour and fifty two minutes. <laughs> I've been asking you questions. Is there a particular message that you want to put out? to the people because I'm sure there's something that you want to say that I didn't give you the opportunity to say by conveying a message to the people. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we need more love and less hate in this world, you know. Um uh, just um treat a person like you would want to be treated. Not not how they treat you, but how you would want to be treated by them. You mm -hmm. know. It, it, um yeah, there's choices in this world that we living in. You make choices. Some of us make bad choices, some of us make right choices, you know. 
And yeah. uh, you, you try to do as much right as you can. You know, like this dunya we living in is it's so much corruption to make you want to do bad. You just got to have the discipline and like, you know, and ain't none of us perfect, you know. That's why we pray and ask for forgiveness for the wrongs that we do. I, I just try to do as least wrong as I can and more right, you know. It's just like the word Islam literally means peace, you know. Ain't, ain't no war. I ain't got no war with nobody. These young brothers, I want to just tell them, hey, I don't, if it's something that you're going through that's got some of y'all like, I see a lot of young brothers doing carjackings and stuff like that, and I don't know what's leading, what's making you do that, you know. You having problems at home or whatever, you know. Try to find somewhere where you go to get some type of help. Don't feel the shame. We all need help in certain situations, you know. I know a lot of young brothers, they're around their peers and don't want to feel embarrassed to say, yo, I'm in a bad situation, you know. Mm -hmm. so, you know. Come to the Flame and Crescent Society. We can help you out, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, that, that, that's that's what I want to say, man. We just need more love in this world, man. You have any message for individuals that are locked down inside um, um, in the industrial prison complex? Oh, yeah. Give, I, 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 I know so. Give them some words of encouragement. And the sisters. Yeah, yeah. I, I know some brothers that's behind a, behind a break. What are you? What are you? Um, one he's one in Cook County right now, and then one is um he was in Stateville. I don't know if they moved him or not. So, but yeah, um, yeah I can just tell him keep your head up, man. And um, you know, you, you just got to bear through this. You know, whatever, whatever you in there for. If you got an outdate, you just got to keep your head, nose clean, and hopefully you get up out of that jam. You know, mm -hmm. and some of the brothers I know in there they Muslim, so they 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 know. What's going on, you know? Mm -hmm. So, you know what, man? You know what, Mister? I think this is gonna be the last question. I would like to know: Can you say something about your mother and your father and how they have influenced you into being a great individual that you are? Your mother and your father. You might want to say their names. You might not want to say. Yeah, names. yeah. All right. Both of my um, my father, James Wells Jr. He just passed on the 28th uh, December of last year. Well, the 27th, my part. The 27th. Sorry, yeah, and uh, my mother, Cora May Perry, she uh, she passed about 14, 15 years ago. And, um, my parents, and see, all I ever knew, and I grew up with my mother and father in my house my whole life. Like, mm -hmm. I never known nothing no different than that. Like, and a lot of people, like I, friends of mine, they didn't know who their father was and, you know, things like that. And I'm like, see, I didn't, I didn't grow up like, I grew up in a loving household, you know. I it, it was a lot of love in my house, you know. And like, one thing I'm about my mother, what she did, that I love her so much for. She never pushed that, pushed me to go to church like she did my older siblings. Like, she, she's like, she didn't push me. She like, you do what you do, you know. She was hard on, real hard on. She was strict when it needed to be, you know, but. She was fair, mm -hmm. you know, and my father was too, you know, mm -hmm. so. Is what was his name? James, James okay. Well. Okay, I'll oh, praise the Judah. Yeah. And you might want to say your brothers and sisters' names because I know they played an integral part in your. All right, I'm, I'm going to say their names. I don't uh, I don't know if they're going to like this or not because I got one of where I'm at now. But anyway, like my oldest brother is um, Eugene, Eugene Perry. He did. Uh, 20 years in the military, the army. And uh, he doing all, all my brothers, my brother, the oldest brother, Eugene. Then I got my oldest sister, Minnie. She uh, she worked for Allstate Insurance for 38 years before she retired. Beautiful. Then I got my sister, Maple. The, the house, the one that you see. Mm -hmm. her. Uh, thank I, thank I, you, I, Maple, for getting them all now. I, I, my sisters, man, I can't, uh, I can't say enough about my sisters. I, it, it, it ain't no words in the dictionary that I could use. You're describe. welcome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you said you're welcome. I, I said it ain't no words in the dictionary that I can just use to describe how I feel about both of my sisters. Cause, uh, it, man, they just, you making me think about you making me think about the song "We Are Family." I got yeah. all my brothers and sisters in me. I, I do, man. I do. Um, <laughs> and then like. I got my other brother, my brother Robert. Man, them used to jam real tight. He older, and all they all older than me. I'm a, I'm the youngest. 
Then uh, I got my brother Larry. Mm-hmm. He um he was in the military. He, he lived over in Europe for uh, like 20, 30 years. He back and he um he probably going to do an interview, Donnie. All right, oh, go ahead, brother. I'm sorry. He, he, he um. He probably go because uh, he didn't he, he didn't agree with the United States way of thing policies. He really like he, he took the stance Muhammad Ali took, which was the right stance. Yeah, and uh, I got uh, I got another one of my brothers too. He he got a mental disability that I he lived with me and I helped take care. of. Praise to Allah. Then I got <clears throat> my brother Roy. May the most I be pleased with him. He passed away. That's my brother that I patterned my life after. Praise. Uh, Wow. You know, and then my, I got my ex Boom Coon, my brother Elvis, that me and him were two youngers, and we like, you know what I'm saying? How my mother used to say, two peas in a pod, you know? Tight, tight, good. Whatever, whatever his is mine, whatever mine's is his. Oh, praises do that a lot. You know? And that's how, you know that's, what? that's how my life wanted to be. Mm-hmm. That's, how, that's how they want it to be. Mm-hmm. And you know, I you know what? Because you know what, his mother and his father and his um, siblings they play integral part in his life, and I just wanted him to bring that up. You know, yeah, and, um, uh-huh. and that's important, and right? They don't know, uh, like, like you know, a lot of people that um when they revert to Islam, their families sort of like reject them sometimes. Mm-hmm. You know, my family they didn't have no problem. You know, praise be to Allah. Praise you know, be I'm like, I ain't gonna force y'all. I'm like, but I'm like, it's the best way. If not, y'all, you know, you want to take the shahada, that's good. But if not, it's just the love no is still the same. No kapoosh. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think, you know what? I'm gonna give, give, me, give myself a little commercial. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? To people that, um, first of all, Shakram, Shakram, I mean, thank you for come, uh, brother uh, Tyrone for coming on Underground Railroad Television. I mean, I'm saying television show. Damn, I mean internet show. Right. I do a show that comes on tonight at 10:30 on Saturdays on Channel 19 right. in Can Television. But I, like I say, I ask people if you could send a donation to help me out to develop this platform because these are the type of shows that I want to do. And even if you can't, you can say a prayer for me. That's a lot for me, you know. And I know no matter who I you know what, I will only get what Allah wants me to have. Right. If Allah doesn't want me to have anything, that's sufficient. That's sufficient. But they say, but you have not because you ask not. Okay. And we do video production in Chicago. We make television shows. And Minister Ben Willis, I produce this show and Big Mama, but I'm not, I don't want y'all to think I'm bragging. I'm just giving <laughs> you a resume, a resume of what I'm doing. Okay, so I would like to produce more shows, and we do video editing. But the description I'm pointing down would be down below. But Brother Tyrone is a supporter, and I want to, you know, what? Thank you, brother. I, I said humbly, not thinking more of myself than what I am. You know what? For you. Disseminating information and inviting people to Islam, because you know what? No matter who, who I have, what shows I do, Islam is going to be mentioned. It's, yes, it is. Sir. Yes, sir. It is. Yes, you know, sir. because I'm a Muslim. I believe in the Sharia law. Uh, you know what? I, I believe that CIA, FBI, Homeland Security, and the news media attacks Islam. But you know what? But they plan. But Allah plans, and Allah is the best plan, and I know they laughing in heaven. They laughing like a little bit right now, but it's okay. You know what? But they plan, we plan. We know about the Illuminati, the skull and bones, and all this. Right. But the thing is, to all these groups that are in variance with Islam, a brother named Shem Shai told me something once. He's with the Hebrew Israelite from Ben Ami. They group right. in Israel. He said, they plan. He said, we know about them. But after it's all said and done, I'm going to say it two times. The Lord above is in control. Yes, sir. After it's all said and done, the Lord above is in control. So you don't have the power to stop Gabriel from blowing the horn. 
No, on the sir. day of Yama Kiyama. So your money, your car, your fame, your big house, that ain't gonna make no difference in it. Oh, they can't save you. The the masses that you have infiltrated with imams to destabilize Islam. Okay, the bombs that you have dropped on Islamic nations, China oppressing Muslim people. You know what? You cannot. And, that's, and it's not going to be done with war. You can't say I say anything about war. And day. You cannot stop mm -hmm. the growth in the development of this dean. You know what a brother told me? <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna hold on to this dean if I got to bite the bump back in the bump of the tree. <laughs> Trump's a representative tree. So the enemy, you cannot, but I'm not advocating no violence. None. You can't get me, I don't get off into that. Right. Uh -uh. So, so you know what, brother? I've been running my mouth for. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, brother, I brother, I just want to minister Ben. Hey, that's the man, you know. And brother Celine, hey man, join his organization. Join the organization, you know. Yeah. And Malcolm, and we can't mention Malcolm X without mentioning Betty Shabazz. Yes, yes, was a magnificent lady, and you know what? Their daughter just died. Yeah, we cannot mention Malcolm without mentioning Betty. Right. You know, I, 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 I visited Grace site a couple of years ago. Was it? Is in uh, Hampstead, New York, upstate. Oh, uh, about it a forty-five it minute train ride from New York City. I'm really lying. But um, I just want the enemy to know. You know don't, don't be under no illusion that some uh, enemy ain't looking at this, brother. Right. <laughs> but you know what? You cannot stop the growth and development of Islam. You can't. No. Mm -mm. Huh? It's, it's gonna, I, you're wasting your time. And we talking about with peace. We ain't talking about strapping nothing on ourselves. Uh -huh. Ooh, we ain't talking about that. That ain't, that ain't Islam. That's, that's, we uh -huh. know that there's no compulsion in Islam. And regardless to what imams give out information about, we want democracy. We want the Republican Party. That is not what the Quran teaches. It says under the right circumstances. And once the scholars get together, the Sharia, which is a Sharia law, Islamic law, is the best thing for the people. Done fair. So, so I hope I, I hope I didn't say that wrong. No, hey. <laughs> Now you said it's your show. You can do it, hey. You know, you know. So the imam may say one thing, and I laugh about it. But the rank and power will feel that way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just want, I just want the enemy to know that. Right. <laughs> I want the enemy to know that. Yeah. Like I say, man, these shows are being monitored. But like I said, you know what a brother told me? We ain't inciting nothing. We don't do nothing against the law anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, they can't do nothing to us what they done already did. I done been locked up before. I done been in bed, so I'm like, yeah, so, so, so Islam is spreading, and you know what? All praises do the law, and this is the best deen. But people don't want to work. You, you do what you want to do, yeah, in terms of your religion. Because I say that because, but it's gonna be implemented with peace, right, and love. That's it, justice. And equality. Okay, brother, that's all. You got any more, any, any, anything else you want to say? And support us. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. Y'all support uh, Cliff and his, um, his TV show every Saturday night. Y'all support that in his uh, YouTube Live. He be on YouTube Live a lot. I be checking you out, man. You be doing oh, your thing. I, I know. I, you know, I've been meaning, you know what, and if that's eluding because I've been meaning to get you on. For a long time, but I guess it just wasn't time. But Allah knows right. what's best, and you know what I've been meaning to get you on. Say that humbly for a long time, uh -huh. but it just uh, it wasn't my time; it was Allah's time. Yes, sir. <laughs> it almost hey, it all, but man, I just thank my sister so much, man, for getting me hooked up on here. And mm -hmm. we was, we, man, trust me, mm -hmm. we, we we started right after right after you. We I got off the phone with you. We started trying to just, I wouldn't log on, and we finally got it. Well, that was the enemy, brother. That yeah. was the enemy. Uh, Leonard, brother Leonard, hey, brother y'all. But you know what? That was the enemy. They planned, 
but a lot of plans. They control this internet. They yep. control YouTube, but you know what? But Allah controls everything. Yeah. Okay, so that's all, man. You know, I talk, I talk so much, brother. Yeah, we'll be on, we'll be on there for another two hours. You feel <laughs> what I'm I, 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 I could run it all about Islam. Yeah, but, but I, I do want people to understand that I'm not an expert, and I have to tell yeah. people yeah. I'm not a scholar. I don't even read Arabic. I don't read Arabic, like and I know little Arabic, but you know what? But I have the ability to talk to the people like me that in their language. Right. I use a yeah, and I heard that, and I talk to them in their language that right. they understand. Understand? And I use a yeah, and yeah, man, I heard that. But you know what? People on the streets understand what I'm saying. Right. You know, so, <laughs> but I ain't no expert. I ain't no, no either. I'm far no, from it. No, but but I want to tell the enemy out there with peace. Islam is coming. Yeah. And you know what? They're, with peace. And there's nothing that you can do to prevent the growth and the development of Islam in the United States out of the world. And Joe Biden, thank you. Thank you for letting Muslims from Afghanistan come to the United States and giving them a sanctuary city. Y'all turned it to believe in sanctuary city. Damn it, give them the money. <laughs> and the rightful people have taken back over Afghanistan. And um, when we talk about Obama, um, what he did in Libya to yeah. Muammar Gaddafi. I'm throwing off into the show. I'm the yeah, yeah. I I'm in variance with that. Uh -huh, I'm in yeah. variance. Yeah, I mean, various with with George Bush saying that we're weapons of mass destruction. But see, man, I guess that's, that's why I got this show. I like to talk about a lot of things. Yeah, <laughs> we, have to, we have to do it on another time, another catch up uh, with you on another demonstration. Uh, you know, we can... uh, uh, all right, man. I'm gonna give you Jazakallah, which means thank you, brother. Likewise, likewise, Aki. And and Assalamu alaikum, and thank you to your big sister back there for. Yeah doing what she did to help us to disseminate information by getting you through to talk yes, about sir, why yes. Muslims do not celebrate Christmas. Right. Shabbat Shalom. Well, Alaikum Salam. Sapata with the Kata. Let me do that live.